Tonight on Public Access, it's the Dell Talk Show. Today we salute science with movie actor Jeff East, gemologist Tookie Binky, music from Deb Demore, and me, Professor Dirk, your absent-minded and humble announcer. And now, the only lab partner I'll ever need, Alex Q. Mellor. Sir. Thank you. Oh, Hello, sir. everyone. I am Alex Q. Meller. Welcome to the Dell Talk Show and our salute to science. Professor, how are you doing? Well, I'm wonderful. Wonderful. Good, good. Yeah. Any Anything happening at the university? Well, I got a little trouble last week for uh, blowing out an intern's Bunsen burner. Oh, my. That's uh, maybe best left for the lab. Okay. Well, yeah. 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 But, uh, you know, I really love science. Uh, as you know, my background is in astrophysics, but I've always been interested in biology. I guess you could call me bio-curious. Um, another thing that's been going on, a colleague asked me to help him put together the control group for an experiment he was doing. I said, hey, if you want controlling, you should meet my mother. But enough kidding around. I'm excited to announce we've made some amazing strides in our research with the element televisium. Yes. Tonight, ladies and gentlemen, let me present to you the first television program powered entirely by nuclear energy. Fire it up, Dirk. Here we go. There was a malfunction with the reactor. It appears everyone's been given superpowers. Mm, yes. From this moment on, I shall be known as the host. Hmm. I can't wait to explore my new abilities. Dirk Boy, uh, what are your, some, some of your powers? I think it's x-ray vision. Ew. Uh. Uh. I'm going to go put on some lead underwear. Uh. We'll be right back. heard of Green Lantern, but Green Underwear? Welcome back. You might know my next guest from the film Superman and Pumpkinhead. Now he's been given some very unusual powers. Please welcome Villager. Hey, Villager, good to see you. How are you? Good, I, uh, I, have, uh, I know you were in Superman. I kind of have a Lex Luthor thing going on. I hope that doesn't. It's a little scary there. Okay, yeah, well, um, I know you're scared, but you uh, have some powers, I see. Why do they call you the villager? Well, it's kind of hard to be all the guys at once, the village people. The all the village people. Your powers are the village people? Yeah, you know, the mechanic, the Indian, Indian the yeah. policeman. Army man. Army man. Um, West Hollywood leather guy. There's six, I think. Yeah, well, there's six. Yeah. So what would the, some of your powers be then? Uh, keeping a wrench um, at an erection. Erected, well, you know what I mean. Now, uh, you you played the um, the adolescent, the young Clark Kent. Oh yeah, I was thin and the, the, well, the dark. You were thin. handsome, man. I mean, well, you were thank you. That was that was. Thank you. Man. No, I'm not saying it because I'm in. in, you know, in <laughs> I think it is. I, I like girls. Oh, trust me. Right. I would say is that all heterosexual here, pal? I, I can tell. <laughs> well, hey, uh, real quick. I know it's a little impromptu, too, but. Uh, could, would you be willing to demonstrate one of your powers right now? Absolutely. Y M C A Y M C A. Hey, that was great. Here, wow. Let's give him a hand. That was that was something. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank Did you, you hear something? I think there's somebody in the studio. Being a good listener is one of my powers, but. Well, 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 if it isn't my arch nemesis, the whistling Shiva, what brings you here? I was watching at home, and I realized your televisium is the perfect thing for my hairdressing business. With a few chemical alterations, I can alter it slightly and make hair grow instantly, which means more haircuts. Well, that plan's kind of convoluted. You'll never get away with it. Please. 
is. You're no match for me and my spiders. She's escaped! Well, maybe my next guest can help us out of this bind. We'll be right back. Get over here, slave girl. You're mine, and so is the audience. Down on your knees, baby. Yeah, she's mine. That's it. Oh, yeah. That's right. She's mine, and so is the audience. What the f*** was that? My next guest is just as delicious as she looks. Please welcome Cupcake Girl. Hi. Ooh, hey, those look great. Oh, yeah, they do. Oh, it's for you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I was going to ask if you brought enough for everyone, but if they're all for no, me, they're then. No, uh, they're all for you. Sorry, villager. So how you doing, Cupcake Girl? I'm my own cupcake. OK, very yeah. cool, very cool. Uh, what's your opinion of cake pops? It's like a cupcake. Um, I like a uh, pop cupcake popsicle. I don't. It's, it's like um, ice cream cake popsicle. Very cool. Very yeah. fun. What are some of your powers? Uh, chocolate. Uh, sprinkles. Mm -hmm. um, red velvet. I love red velvet. Do you ever do any vegan options? Yeah, and gluten free. Gluten free, great. And uh, it says here that um, one of your powers is dancing. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, let's, let's, here, I got a drum machine right here. Whoa. Let, let's see some of that. You go, girl. Frosting to my feet. <laughs> hey, that's a good color on you. No one styles my guests and gets away with it. Yeah. Prepare to pay, whistling Shiva. Ladies and gentlemen, Drab Majesty. She escaped again. Oh, what's the use? Maybe we weren't ready for the responsibility of being superheroes anyway. Holy strawberries, TH. I wish we could put this whole episode behind us. Episode? That's it. Maybe if I rewind the episode, I could prevent any of this from ever happening.
Hold on, Dirk, be careful. We've had a lot of fun today. But you know, superhero stories are just allegories. Like how Captain America is about patriotism. Or the X-Men is about gay people. We're all gay. <laughs>